Good morning everybody, it's September the 27th and we're looking at the last chapter of Colossians, chapter 4 and I'm going to go straight into my password for the day it's verse 6 he says, let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer every man this verse is in the context of the previous sentence he says walk in wisdom toward those that are without redeeming the time so it's within the context of our testimony in the world and he says in that context let your speech be always with grace in other words people might speak to you roughly or they might speak to you unkindly but you always respond in a manner that is um, undeserving of them in other words you speak in a manner that's kind and gracious and loving which is beyond um, the beyond the, the way in which you were spoken to yourself so if people speak to you unkindly you don't respond unkindly if people speak to you roughly you speak gently in return so let your speech be always with grace and seasoned with salt this is an interesting concept in scripture salt was used in the east as it is today and it was well understood that without salt in a person's diet at all then he went into sort of a craziness of mind and um, it was quite dangerous to not have salt it salt is the thing that enables the functions of the body and of the mind to be um, normal so he says let your speech be always with grace and seasoned with salt you need to have clearness of mind and you need to have clearness of thinking and salt was always considered to be the foundation of friendship of course friendship needs a certain amount of clear headedness and kindness and grace for friendship to uh, mature so he says let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that you may know how to how you ought to answer every man he doesn't say so that you'll know what to say we all know what to say one way or another he says that you may know how you ought to answer so the way in which you answer is just as important as the words that you use and the way in which you address people in kindness and in grace and in respectfulness is just as important as the message that you speak so then we are to walk in wisdom towards those that are without redeeming the time we're not to waste our time we're not to waste our time in this world every hour in this world is important it's important even for relaxation but it's important that we might serve the Lord that we might be a witness and a testimony for him and that we might be able to speak in this world in grace and with salt and that we might know the spirit in which we ought to answer every man now that's quite an exhortation it's something we all have to do we all have to do with the people of this world we all have to do with the testimony of our faith in Christ but our testimony needs to be in the right spirit in the spirit of Christ in the spirit of holiness yes in the spirit of grace in the spirit of kindness may God bless you and help you and we look forward to speaking to you all again tomorrow have a great day bye for now